My name is Octo. Uh, my hip hop artist and activist, and I've been working uh, with young people in this camp on talent development for the last, I think, four years since 2013. And today I have a few of them. We didn't have enough time to give you like a five hour show, but we're gonna give you like at least a taste of what it feels like. And uh, I'll go straight to our first performer. She's called Queen Lisa, and she's from Burundi. She's been here, I think, for almost 10 years, and is one of the most inspiring ladies uh, out in Kakuma, and I hope you enjoy. <laughs> It's not easy to perform in front of you guys. You guys are scary. And for, for performers like us, we always have to wear another, another crown to like, be on stage. So it's not easy, but yeah. Yeah, well, you do it all the time. We try. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, so I wanted to ask you about your concept for Refugenius. Where did that concept come from? Uh, so Refugenius, I first uh, came to Kakuma in 2013 uh, through Filmate. And uh, then I came back in 2014 for World Refugee Day, and I realized that there was a lot of talent, and I know everybody is pro-education, and I am too, because I'm a very big pro-education. I'm back in school myself right now. But uh, I also feel like people have always not understand music as part of school, and not only school, especially in places like camp, uh, places like this, is a therapy for these kids. and. Is there's many people that I've, I saw here for like three years who never talked to me, but when we started the music program, this was the first time that they were opening up and, and, and talking about themselves in through songs, because they're not like maybe book smart, but they are talent smart. And that's why for me, the word refugee was so negative. Mm -hmm. At that point, uh, everybody's like, if you say you're a refugee, it's like you are a problem. But I want them to own the word. So that's why we, come, we came out with the word refugeeness because every, each of us has a genius part of us that we don't get from school. We get it from our moms. That's right. And so, I, and for me, I want to tell every young person who's in this camp or any camp across Africa that, you know, sometimes we are not lucky to pass uh, or get life through uh, education, but that's not the end of it. You know, there's talent, there's... 
basketry, there's everything, there's culture, and we can utilize all this part to be successful in our lives. And a good example is like Buo is a, a runner, the Olympians, you know, that's talent. The footballers the, from Kakuma just went to Kitale and they beat like all Kenyan players. <laughs> so that's nice, that's talent. And these are things that we should be developing more. That's right. Well, yeah. I know from your background, you yourself come from Kibera, which is one of the largest slums in, in Africa. How did that influence your work with refugees? I mean, do you see music as a universal language? Uh, coming from Kibera and then when I came here, I felt like it was like another home. You know, there's a lot of similarities. Uh, the only thing that is nicer this side that I have to give like the UNHCR and every organization here like a Bravo is that it's clean. This place is clean. <laughs> you know, so this is a, 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 a cleaner version of Kibera, you know, and and that's a great job, and we are hoping to make our own Kibera clean too. We are working on it. But uh, coming from where I came from and uh, meeting some of the guys that I work with here, over like 100 kids, there was just a, a vibe, you know, like as young people we call it a vibe that, that came through. There were kids that didn't know where their parents is, their kids who lost their parents. I lost my parents when I was 15, and I could relate, you know, and, and most of the time people don't understand us you know we were both traumatic and and it, it took me like over 10 years to get over that and i'm like lucky that i can vent my emotions and my my trauma through music mm -hmm. and that's what has kept me going until today and most of us don't understand that and for me together there's many of same young kids that are going through the same and even there's my colleague here called victor Ndula, who is a, a cartoonist and he works with the art so it, it's not only like music, it's like visual arts, it's football. And we felt like this is the best way to also bring communities together and inter, integrate as, as a Tukana host community, as us and, and young people. And coming from Kibera and coming here is another home and I feel we should always lift each other before we wait for people coming from outside to lift us. Mm. And this is why I do it. Great. Yeah. So, well, we're not done with the music yet. No, we're not. Why don't not. you tell us what's about to happen now? So, we have a next performance that are called Street Boys uh, from South Sudan. Yeah. And they're one of my, one of my favorite uh, uh, rap group. And they're coming up on stage next uh, to do their performance for Les Party. Uh, I'm not a your turn up ironic, your turn up red in the now. Because I'm making the world of the men in the city when men is around. Not to give a say you, but keep on me bound when I disappear. But I say, Ramni seem papuda, unka unda yin papuda. Hataka una ona men in my lisa una to confirm fear. Tasaka una fear, usin it to kill the force itself. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Pizza of the king, and you know it. You know it. Strict boys. It's K Town Kakuma, you know what time it is. K Town, let's do it. Yo, we every in the club, in the spar, we last night. The street out the beach, now we eye to the top. Life is down the floor, all my OB, let's enjoy this night. Pretty double, the life is not simple. We're not gonna shit in temple with my homie Crown B. To the lady, it's KJ, you know, sleep and do not. We're street born, now they are bitter, really, hip hop up. I make the Lula Club, cause you talk about hip hop. Let's party, let's party all oh, nice friend My street boys in the ghetto, no sleeping Leave the loser to the sky, we are flying We live life for you want, let's enjoy it Let's party, let's party all oh, nice friend My street homie in the ghetto, no sleeping Leave the loser to the sky, we are flying We live life for you want, let's enjoy it Let's party, let's play everybody, yo I'm a city, I am ready for the party we are in the club, no sleeping, everybody. What's it done? I want me to go swag, swag. What's it done? I want me to go swag, swag. It's your boy, we can fly in the sky. We can dance nightclub, we can do it. Ask it to why now, I'm going to kiss. Let's party, let's party, all nice friends. My sweet boys in the ghetto, no sleeping. You can look it to the sky, we are flying. We live life for you, one, let's enjoy it. Let's party, let's party, all nice friends. My sweet homie in the ghetto, no sleeping.
uh, Octo P A Double Z. Hey, so what's up, sweetheart? What's popping? Dr. Koko Fini kupeleke shopping. Niku dungisha di mademo anze kukopi. Na skeni msupa di jizaza na kwa game kunoki. Hold up, that's my holy spirit talking. Turn up, kujani love me ni doki. Kukupenda si choki, kwa raw ni toki. Achana Churchill, zake ni joking. Tim Tergat, zangu ni joking. Achana Benz baby, inge kwa vyo kuna ni jazz. Kam sana cheza saxophone. Kuna ni rap ka MC anatumia microphone. Yang gifted and blackberry kama vote them on. And uh, hold the ear drum like a ear. Girl, I'm feeling something. Do something. something for you. Cause I'm feeling. Cause I'm feeling. Hey, hey. For you. I wanna, I wanna. wanna do something. something for you. Cause I'm feeling. Cause I'm feeling. Hey. Something DJ, for you. DJ, 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 Chorea. I place that song because everybody here should do something for a refugee. Everyone, like you should feel guilty to do something or you should feel from the heart to do something. And uh, there was this song, my current song is called No Money, and I say there's also all of us who are refugees, but we don't live in the camp anymore. You know, if you follow history personally, the, the reason I also have a, a connection with this place because my ancestors are from Bargazelle. So uh, I'm like the most light-skinned South Sudanese you'll ever see. So I'm a South Sudanese when I'm here, I'm not a Kenyan. And so I appreciate everybody that made this happen. I appreciate Ted for giving the uh, young people opportunity and I uh, hope everybody can support uh, the development of uh, talents. Because we've seen what talents have done globally. Entertainment, sport is one of the biggest businesses in the world right now. And as much as I know in our African cultures, our parents don't want us to go into music because they don't consider that job. We are told you have to be a lawyer, you have to be a doctor. But I want our parents to know that those lawyers work for us, those doctors work for us. And we pay in cash. So thank you so much. <laughs>